Mike Hughes here. I'm at Professional Scuba ins Inspectors, and I'm, I'm here with Mark, and um, we want to show you a tank um, today, or a cylinder as we say in the trade, um, and what can go bad if it isn't inspected and, and kept current up to date. Well, this cylinder was inspected by a trained person, right. and there's general pitting on the cylinder, and in the base underneath here there are some pits okay. that far exceed the standard. Which very, you probably very hard to see underneath. Yeah, they're right, right here where my finger is. Yeah. Very hard to see. Okay. So what happened, here, what happened here was the cylinder was condemned and put outside in a stack of bad cylinders. Right. With several other cylinders. We are told seven cylinders in total. Okay. The cylinder was then subsequently stolen. Right. And used on a lobster fishing boat for manually diving and picking lobsters. Wow. And it was set next to the engine. Oh, perfect. I was told it was next to the engine for some two weeks. To heat up. So probably the, uh, the, Change the hardness metal. of the metal is reduced. All right. Subsequently, the cylinder was filled and at right at 3,000 pounds, the cylinder ruptured, killing a bystanding 16-year-old girl. The gentleman who was filling the cylinder lost his right leg above the knee, his left leg below the knee. And I was told yesterday he's walking around and doing quite well. Okay. So then the investigation was done. Mm -hmm. um, the cylinder was picked up and sent to us. Um, it's traveled quite a bit to get to us. It I has. took it to a metallurgist, and the Rockwell hardness of the cylinder is 18. Oh. It's supposed to be 55. So heat damaged a kneeled cylinder. Quite a bit. That's, that's what that's what the problem is here. So how do I how would one determine that? It's very hard to determine that, but if you believe a cylinder is heat damaged yep. and there's visible damage, immediately remove it from service. There you get, Cylinders the, are cheap, human life is not. Exactly. Yes, so we're having a discussion about heated cylinders because of the Northern California fires. Um, right. So be aware as fill station operators, people might bring in cylinders that have been compromised by heat and there's not a lot you can see. That's damaged. a good point. Yeah. Okay, and if they want more information about um, visual cylinders um, or in, taking a training class in them, yes, they would contact you guys. Contact us at PSI. We're online at www.psicylinders.com and or you can find us in any common search on the web. We're very easy to find. Okay, and once again, I'd like to thank you a lot for this.